All right, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice Lego review. Today we're doing something a little bit different from the Lego Star Wars. We have the new Lego Avatar sets. Uh, they put out four of them this year. That's excluding the Brickhead sets. This is set number 75572, Jake and Atari's first Banshee flight. We'll get right into the box art. Very good looking with the Avatar characters, Jake and Atari, as we see right here. Then we have the great Pandora back, and then the actual set itself with the flying rocks, the Banshees, and Jake and Atari. And then all of the uh, 2022 sets, excluding the Star Wars sets, they uh, for the minifigures, they put a circle right there. I think this is very ironic um, because that looks like exactly from the Lego Star Wars game where they have a circle, a character, and then a background color. They did it for every set except for Lego Star Wars, which I think that's pretty ironic because I came from the Lego Star Wars game. And then kind of going to the back of the back arc, uh, we have uh, not the Pandora back. I mean, kind of in the background, you can see it. It's kind of shaded in with the blue, but it just shows you all the different things that you can get into. Uh, it shows you the actual width and the length of all the uh, Banshee. They're both the same size. We'll get into that a little bit here. And then we have the uh, different accessibility you can do with it and just different play features it has. And then for the side, nothing too much. The minifigures, we have Jake and Natari. Um, they brought back the long legs, as you can see there. And let me grab a minifigure just to show you the difference. Quite a bit of difference, um, which is, wow, my camera is not focused, um, which is quite a bit of difference, which is nice because um, that's actually about the difference in the movie, uh, the man to the avatars. So that's nice to see that. Um, and then for the actual minifigures themselves, very beautiful. Uh, you can't see it at this angle because my camera will have a seizure if I bring it too close, but they actually have like the little dots that you see in the movies on their face that glisten if you get the right angle, which is really cool. Their arms are a little bit longer. Uh, their actual hair piece, let me bring the, let me bring Jake to you. So here's Jake. Wow, that looks like there. So you can see the little dots. See, it glistens, very beautiful. Um, well, this is a beautiful guy right here. So they actually did something that I haven't seen ever, um, where they have ears, um, which is crazy because usually the ears are on the actual hair piece but they didn't do that for this they put the ears on the helmet the head then they have a tail piece in the back which is really nice again those little silver dots everywhere kind of gives it the glisten and then the hair piece um has a little stud on the back that you can attach you'll see later in a bit you can attach the banshees to and it's the exact same for natari um the head piece she has a little bit more art on her because uh, they didn't want to show female genitalia, which is fair, I guess. Um, and that's Natari. Going to the set now. To the actual Banshee themselves, very beautiful build. We'll get right to the back of it. It has a tail piece. Um, it doesn't really rotate, but it does at the same time. Uh, it's two piece here, piece here, and then a piece here. Um, and so they all kind of move individually, so you have to be kind of careful when you want to turn it because otherwise it will come right off you can move it any way you like um and then they use plastic for the wings as you can see um there's separate pieces underneath you can see that they just have little circle studs i don't know exactly what they're called but they put you know little connectors um the kinetic pieces and then they just put the little black connector dots on top and then you just attach the wings so, and it looks very well so they can up and down any way you any way you like um, for either way um, and then the actual banshee itself pretty pretty good looking they did a, a mold for the head for the head uh, kind of like the shark if I can get this one second kind of like the shark head where it opens like that with the teeth um, so that's nice and then the head is a kinetic piece as well so that rotates underneath is nice I'll show that in a second. Uh, the stomach looks pretty good. Coloring, amazing. And then the other Banshee is, uh, oh God, one second. Uh, the other, other Banshee is the exact same mod, uh, size model, uh, just different coloring. I, I really love both colorings. I know that's not up to the Lego, but they did a really good job on both colorings. Um, same exact headpiece, just different coloring. 
Um, and then I kind of put Jake on here because this is his Banshee to show the features. So it, one coral is that, that he stands on here. So you can see right there, um, he stands right there and it's not very sturdy. It's kind of a pain to get on there. And in fact, and then the other thing I really love, but they just didn't do it the greatest because it kind of comes off really easy is right there. So you can see they have like this little whip piece. Um, on the other side, I connected it to his hair. Like I said before, that little piece right there connects to that whip piece. And so it attaches to the banshee like we see in the movie because they have their hair attaches to the animals. Um, but it's not the most sturdiest. So you can see right there and then it just kind of falls off. So it's it's not as easy as it looks, but it's really cool, really good looking. Um, and that's the rest of the banshee. I have it. They both came with spears. I put the spear on the side. They have little holders the banshees and that's the that's the banshees the last part we've got the um the i guess floating rocks or what they're called um so you can see right there i wanted to show you um uh, you can see right there it connects to the little kinetic pieces right along in the back you can see right there like i showed you on the other one it has that piece so it connects right here as well as the other side. Um, let me get it on there. Booyah. And so you have this very well looking scene. Um, but if you don't want to uh, put it on there, you still have a very good looking thing. Still looking look, good looking architecture piece. You got these right here, rotates a little bit. The vine rotates. Then you got these nice purple fluorescent and this also rotates around all around it, it looks very pandora like and the fact that you can put the banshees on top just comes along very very well so overall it's just a really good set um i believe it's 60 dollars might be 65 uh, after we'll put a little price tag for the c confirmed price um the banshees the, the minifigures the buildability the playability just all around strong. Only coral is maybe those, uh, you know, right here. They just come off really easy. Um, that's it. But like overall, it's going to probably be, I want to say eight and a half, but I'm going to go all the way to a nine. Because I love, this is like a really, really strong. You could put this, uh, something broke. Um, you could put this anywhere for display and it just looks really fun. And then for anyone who wants to play with this as a, kid or me as a grown adult man you absolutely can it's awesome it's fun and i love it the 60 dollars is definitely fair i think you should go pick this up whenever you can um this is a 2022 set so it's going to be out for a while so you're definitely going to have your chance but i definitely recommend like i said nine out of ten um, if you guys can go pick up definitely recommend with that i hope you guys liked this enjoyed this hit that like uh hit the comment what do you guys want to see below if you guys want to see any more avatar sets and with that, we'll see you guys in the next video.